All right, everyone, you clicked on this video expecting to see the fifth episode of Michigan Steel, which by the way, if you guys haven't caught all the other episodes, we got the links down below. There's four other episodes that are absolute bangers and I don't think you, very many of you guys have seen them yet. So make sure you hit the links down below, check out those videos and make sure you smash that thumbs up button. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys in on a little sneak peek of something that we just put on our website. This is a brand new collaboration with another company and it's limited, very, very limited, and I'm super excited about it. What this is, is the Malou's Wet Hoodie. And what this is, guys, I'm so, I'm so stoked about this. So this company, this guy right here, as you can see, Malou's, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know, I'm probably butchering it. Amazing company, they make some really, really cool things, but what he did was he patented this design. So what he did was he took a hoodie, not just any ordinary hoodie though, this is a super high quality, you can see it's got like a Sherpa, like super soft material inside of it. Um, he took this hoodie and he patented the ability to put wetsuit neoprene arms on the hoodie. So this is exactly like wetsuit material. And the reason I was so excited about it is as you know, our fisheries out in the Pacific Northwest when we're catching wild fish and we're catching trout that we want to release, a lot of times we're in the water with these fish and we're soaking our arms. This is gonna keep you warm, it's gonna keep you dry, and we've tested it for a long time. We used it when we were filming Addicted Alaska 3, and we've used it a bunch, and these things are sick. We just did a black Addicted logo on the front with a silver hook. They have a super cool, like, kind of like little kangaroo pocket on the front. Boom, magnetic, so you can do it all one-handed. They just go right back to magnetic. Really, really nice hoodies, and then they still have your little hand pocket as well that you can put in right here, so partnered with these guys. Huge shout out to Malou's. Thanks for letting us put our logo on your hoodies. And the, again, these are limited. There's a link in the description down below. And this weekend only, it started Friday, but as you guys are seeing this video, the sale's still going. We're running a flash sale on our website, 15% off everything on our website. So you guys can see we got our big warehouse completely stocked up with addicted stuff. We keep growing. Thanks to all you addicts out there for the support. We appreciate you so much. Head over to the website, grab some merch, and grab one of these wet hoodies because I promise they're not gonna last long. We don't have very many of them. Super limited stock. Thanks so much. Now let's kick off episode five of Michigan Steel. Oh, there he is. Yep, got him. Nice! It's a nice shiny one. Oh, it's a fish. It's fish. Nice. It's fish. It's fish. Oh, First one that's actually stayed on for more than five seconds. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. That was yeah. so sick! Awesome, man. So this last day of steelhead fishing, what we really wanted to do, we told Kyle, hey man, we want to do something different. We want to do something completely out of the box. And so we were staying at a hotel in Traverse City and we decided, Kyle said, hey, if we drive three or four hours south, we're gonna have an opportunity at some good fish on a completely different river. He's like, I don't run it very much, but it'll be a fun river to go take my sled on. So I'm like, dude, let's do it. We'll do it. We'll wake up super early. We'll send it down there and we'll go check out that river. What's underneath here, Kyle, in this compartment? There's like a breaker for it. That's what it sounds like to me. Try it one more time. What the f that? Man. It sounds like... I've never had an issue with the anchor. Whatever clicking is, I can feel it, Kyle. It's something yeah. right here. A lot of guys are saying power connections at the battery. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Was there something loose on there? I don't know. I just cinched it all down. So we had a little technical difficulty, but Perfect. we put all our brains together and figured it out. We, we just hit it little... real hard with a hammer. <laughs> that's, what, that's right where it started, man. I took my pliers and started hitting stuff, but we figured it out. It's time to go get some fish. Oh, you guys, I can't even leave the 
countryside and not have this happen. Yeah, we're gonna fish, so we're, we're gonna do what we talked about last time. Okay. We wanna send Washington. Then, Crisis averted, guys, but we are going to be fishing Washington gear today. I know you guys have watched the last few days and we've been dabbling with it, but we figured the last day out here and the conditions couldn't be any more ideal to give it a shot. So we're gonna, you can see everyone's feverishly working here to try to get, uh, basically, like I said, the Washington gear jigs. We brought some, uh, some prawn today too, which is gonna, as you guys know from a lot of our videos, we fish a lot of prawn and stuff like that tipped on our jig. So what the hell, what do you think? I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work today. I think I think if we get in there with our stuff before Kyle can get in there with his stuff, they're gonna eat it. <laughs> right. We got nothing to lose. We've already caught a ton of fish here up state. I mean, it's, you can't, we gotta do it. We have to do it. That's hey, what we're here for. Hey, speak for yourself, dude. <laughs> You've caught plenty. <laughs> I don't know about that. One thing that we did that not very many people do out here that we know of was we used prawn. So we used raw prawn meat from, you know, your local grocery store. And we told Kyle like, man, I don't know why it wouldn't work. They like crawdads, they like all that stuff. Why wouldn't they eat prawn? Little Addicted Secret Series, 16th ounce, tiny. Little chunk of meat right there, just boop, game over. All three of us are lined up right here, jigging, prawning, guys. And if we don't get it done, we're gonna fleece this spot. And if we don't get it done, I think Maggie's gonna come in right behind us with a spawn sack and show us what's up, so. First drift, oh my God, did you see that? No. I absolutely, absolutely, oh my oh, gosh! Oh, that was, no! That was a bobble. No, he, he hit it once too. Is there trout in here? No. <laughs> There's no trout in here. No. Oh my gosh. I'm like, four or five, I'm not that deep because I'm kind of chicken because I don't want to lose my stuff. I can't believe that happened. I was kind of in the gimme room for this trip, again, because I hadn't caught very many steel. And if you guys don't know what the gimme room is, basically my buddies, my good friends that I enjoyed this Michigan trip on with, they were letting me get first, second cast through these holes because I hadn't caught very many steelhead yet. So I got my prawn out, I got a red Sink It Series jig, cast it out there, send it down through, it's going through. Oh my God, dude, that was like trouty as it gets. Right, Just ding, 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 ding. Bobber drains, pops back up before I can even set the hook. And I'm like, what in the heck? You know, so I reel in, I reel in. Next thing you know, here comes Cam's bobber. Fish go, go! Oh, it's the big one on the prod, baby! Yes! There it is! Get it out of there! Second cast! Oh my God! Second cast, he's oh, oh God! I love this! Yes! Oh. Come on, baby! Oh. Nice one too. Oh, there it is. That was there not even is. the same fish. Dude, it was, no, the, my was other bike was here. down there. No, it, it wasn't the same fish. Right oh my I God. Right in front of him. I just had a... There it is, guys. Sorry, oh, Mags. I had to get that it. one from you. I didn't want to let her into the hole yet. It was going to be over. Oh yeah. Holy Where's smokes. Way down in the pocket. Yeah, I'm doubling. Oh my gosh. Right. It's a stud too, and I'm using really light line again. Eight pound. Marley right just here. got bit. I just got bit, dude. Oh! 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 Did you see that, you guys? You're welcome, bud. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm excited about it. Oh, look at that fish. Oh my god, that's huge. Good. Cameron's got two stripes. Oh my god. Oh my god, god that's a nice fish. Oh. Oh, he is gone. He is gone. Yes! Dude! Oh, yeah, boys. There it is, oh, yeah, you guys. Boys. Little center pin washing action. Look at this fish, you guys. Holy cow. Look at that camera. Dude! Yeah, Holy cow. Wow. Well, that's a stud. That's a stud fish. Kyle, putting it on yeah, it again, man. dude. On the prong, baby. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Instantly, man. I mean, I made two drifts through there. I had Bobber down on both drifts. Uh, that's it. There you go. It works. End of story. End of story. Yep. Look at that. Addicted Sink It Series, 16th ounce, right? Just pinned in the corner. Oh my goodness. Well, once again, Kyle McClellan putting us on big fish. That looks like a Washington fish, though. 
Look at that blue iridescent though again, but. There you go, let's boom, boom. Yes! Go! Oh, on. Fish, on. Fish, on, fish on, fish on, fish on! Yes, Marlin's in it! Ah! He's wrong, dude. Come on, baby. Oh, the prawn, baby. Oh, the prawn. Marlin's on. Oh, I thought even nicer one. Oh, my God. That fish swam out and bit that prawn right away again. No, I'm just kidding. You ready, Kyle? I'm bringing him to you. I earned that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that hand. What a fatty. Look at her. Look at that fish. Slimy little guy. Super unique fish. It had these, it had these really interesting like nose on it. Just super, super unique fish. We decided to bonk it because Kyle needs some fresh roe, wants to eat some steelhead that night for dinner. So we decided to take that fish and harvest it. And we continue on with our day the rest of the trip. We're gonna continue to do this, kind of run the prawns, run the jigs, and then run the sack behind it to see if we can get bit on that. And that's exactly what we did on the next few holes down. So one thing we were super sad about you know, on this trip was for some reason, Sean was just on the beat up train. Like every, he could not do anything without just getting hammered. So one day he's getting, he's at the gas station, he's walking out, he steps out of the gas station, just eats it and smashes his elbow on, on the side of the Suburban. Very next day, landing the drone, uh, cuts his finger on the drone. I know, man. Sean, Sean. Sean almost dies again. There's been five people walk across that shelf ice. He steps foot on it. Smited! He's like the, he's like the lightest, he's like the smallest dude, too. Michigan doesn't like you, bud. Oh, God. Just the overall whole entire trip, it just seemed like Sean was getting picked on by Michigan. I wasn't the only one being unlucky. Sean was getting unlucky, too. So I went into day five kind of telling Kyle, Man, I really want to get Sean a fish. I want to make sure he catches a first Michigan steelhead as well. So in one of the perfect holes, Kyle was like, this is going to be a guarantee hole. Let's have Sean fish it. Come on, Sean. Get your first Michigan steel here. Oh, there it is. Nope. nope. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Real. Fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, if you can't shoot that bank in there. Sean, you got fish on, bud. <laughs> First Michigan steelhead. Easy, easy, easy. That's a big fish. Good work, Sean. Fish on, buddy. Bags the net job. Here it comes. Just messing you up, bud. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, oh, it's big. Oh. Oh. Nice job. Oh, okay. Okay. You're right. Yep. Just walking around, John. Walking right back. This is what we like yeah. to call the steelhead shuffle. <laughs> awesome. Get him, John. Get him, John. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, so good. Oh, it's me. Oh, go, go, go. Go, go. Get him, Max. Get him, Max. Go, go, go. Go. Nice work, Sean. There you go, Sean. Nice. First oh, Michigan steal, buddy. Look at that thing. Ooh. All right, Sean. Let's let your first Michigan steelhead go, dude. Nice work. Let this little buddy go. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Sean. It turns out this was actually gonna end up being my day on this river because we get into like, I think two or three holes down and I put a fresh prawn on my jig, set it out to the depth that Kyle tells me, I run it through, it's coming behind the spawn sack and behind another jig. And then, it, you know, I continue to let it run. It runs probably another 20 feet down, I would say, and just completely buries. Boom, set the hook. Prawn, jig prawn, jig prawn. <laughs> oh, <we're down. laughs> he feels the power. Feels the power of the Okuma X Rod. Look at that, Kyle. The sink it right in his face. 
get a nice little steelhead and you know barely a steelhead kind of a super small one but had some really really beautiful colors on him and it came on the red sink it series again so that jig worked well out here in michigan little guy see you later little dude all right everyone so we pulled into our third hole of the day here we have gotten a couple more fish it's turning out it's going to be a real good day it seems like and i'm stoked because the sink it jigs have been working black and red got the old addicted float we got matt sean was your spawn sean was on a spawny huh yep so we got one on spawny oh a few on jigs oh my god it's going down you think this will work i don't know man careful you guys are the ice masters the ice is gonna crack into two pieces. You're gonna yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's a hard no on that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, anyways. Oh, 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 did you God. see that? Dude, he was running with it. Are you it was fast, it's all. I don't know what I'm going through there, and he don't want nothing. I cannot believe that fish hit his bobber that hard on the first pass through there and completely airballed it. Not like it's his fault, he was on it, but man, the fish grabbed it down real fast and missed it. So we know he's sitting in there, but they're just being super finicky. Quite a challenge. What was that? All right, addicts. So we've been running a few different jigs through there with prawn, Kyle's been running spawnies. We tried a few different things and now I'm gonna try a worm. We're gonna see if we can get, maybe you want something a little bit more aggressive here. So far we have not got a single fish on a worm this weekend or this week since we've been here. And I would really like for it to happen right about now. I'm gonna cut it just a little smaller, not give it a full four. Bingo. All about the tug doesn't matter what it is as long as it's tugging oh it broke. that's a sign it's a sign i think i just don't want the worms here even though i didn't get a single good drift through there well we fished a few spots down here we found some fish we had to frog through some holes and uh, it wasn't hot and heavy but we just picked away at a few so we're gonna head back upstream a ways and try a couple spots on our way back up and see if we can't find a couple beautiful day out here though we've had a great time so got some nice fish as well kyle absolutely busted his ass trying to get his fish he had that boat going over logs in between stuff breaking branches going over ice sheets just to potentially get us into other opportunities to catch some more of these beautiful steelhead. I mean, it speaks volumes to his character and how tough and willing of a fisherman he is. He was an absolute pleasure to fish with for a few days, super knowledgeable, taught us a bunch of things, got me on my first few pin fish. I mean, I can't thank him enough and it was an incredible, awesome experience fishing with him. I think we're definitely gonna be fishing with Kyle a lot more in the future. We're already talking plans, getting him out here into the Northwest to fish with us. And he's doing some stuff down in Tennessee as well that we're kind of already baking some future trips to hopefully get down to Tennessee and fish with him. So huge shout out to Kyle and make sure you check both those guys out in the description. We're going to have links to the guide service, links to the YouTube channel. You know, please addicts, do me a favor, go over there, hit them up, come out here, plan your own little Michigan adventure because uh, it's well worth it. These steelhead are badass. As yet another out of state adventure comes to a close, I can't help but think about the power and beauty of these Midwest steelhead. Before we went on our trip to Michigan, all we heard from people was, these fish aren't real steelhead. These fish can't put up a good fight. These fish aren't chrome like Pacific Northwest steelhead. Nothing but a trout. All of which were just plain wrong. These Michigan steelhead were big, powerful, chrome, and very similar to our Pacific Northwest fish. I'll never forget how hard that first Midwest fish I hooked fought. It was jumping nonstop, making epic runs and putting up a fight to match any steelhead I've ever caught at home. This was a bucket list trip for us. We had goals. 
One being just to catch a steelhead. Two being catch a steelhead with a center pin rod. And third, debunk everything we heard about these magnificent fish. The verdict is in. These Midwest steelhead are real steelhead. They fight the same, they look the same, they eat the same, they spawn the same. These fish are steelhead. I challenge you addicts to get over to the Midwest and see for yourself. Pick one of the great states around the Great Lakes with runs of steelhead and go on an adventure. Gather some friends and experience exactly what we did. I promise you will not be sorry. Before we end this video, we have to say thanks so much to the friendly people of Michigan. They were so welcoming to us and it was awesome to see. Especially thanks to Kyle and Frey for showing us around their special waters. Without a doubt, we will be back to chase Midwest Steelhead again, so stay tuned.